morning, everybody, and welcome to episode 14. I am so thrilled to see everyone. And the title of this session for the social distancing warm up is Get That Blood Pumping. Um, studies have shown that uh, a little bit of morning exercise is great for the body, but it's also great for the brain. And we're going to be doing some exercises today that uh, on, tr on trombone or your uh, respective instruments that I also think are good for the brain. But first of all, let's do some deep knee bends. So put the instrument down, and uh, we're going to do 10, all the way up, all the way down. Facing forward, and uh, we're going to stick our back sides out as we're going down and arch our backs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. How do you feel? I also do this at airports a lot when I can't get to a gym uh, on travel days or I don't have access to barbells. We're going to do bass trombone case arm curls. Here we go. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This wonderful XO bass trombone case. I love it. Okay, now we're going to switch arms. Do it again. We're going to stick our palms out just like you're holding dumbbells. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Arr, how do you feel? Okay. Let's do a little bit of playing. Long tones. We're going to start on the Remington uh, Bossa Nova with uh, two measures in between to catch our breath as we're going down. We're going to start on a uh, concert B flat. Concert B flat. So as always, if you need to transpose trumpets, uh, that's going to be your concert. That's going to be your C, but concert B flat. Then we're going to go down by half step, but we're thinking straight air, we're thinking legato tone, and we're also thinking pitch all the time. If we're not right on the pitch, we want to be listening and adjusting. So let's get that air flowing and let's stay nice and relaxed. Here we go.
exhale, but it's going to be silent and extremely relaxed with our throat open. One, two, three. Yes, yes. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about outlining chords. As improvising, playing by ear, I said this many times, but it's not really about talent. <laughs> it's about curiosity. And today, we're going to do something that's as basic as we can make it. Super, super simple. But it does take some practice, and I owe a big uh, uh, thanks to my uh, high school band director, one of my high school band directors, and my first trombone teacher, Jim Sparks, from Huntsville, Alabama, uh, when I was taking uh, theory at Grissom High School with uh, some amazing folks. He encouraged us to spell in thirds. He encouraged us to spell in thirds. Uh, let me give you an example. Now this goes up to the major nine. Anytime you see a, a chord with a triangle, it's going to be a major chord with a major seven. But right now what we're going to do is just spell up to the major seven. So C, E, G, B, natural. C, E, G, B. If you can say it really, really fast, uh, that's going to help you out. Because I, I keep telling my students this, and I keep reminding myself this, we want to end up uh, thinking like rhythm section players. Because rhythm section players are usually the best musicians in the band. Um, when piano players and guitarists first started learning how to comp, uh, they would all they would do the same thing. They would uh, spell in thirds and spell the chords out on the keyboard. Uh, now we can only play one note at a time, obviously, if you're a, a brass instrument or a woodwind instrument. But we can still outline the chords in a similar way, so we can uh, mimic the same process that. Uh, uh, beginning uh, jazz pianists and jazz uh, guitarists uh, incorporate when they're learning chords, when they're learning how to comp. But if we can do it as quickly as possible in our brains, even if we don't have our instruments with us, that's going to help us in many, many ways. Um, that's going to get neurons firing in our brains and get our reaction time uh, lightning fast. So it does take practice, but even if you don't have a horn in your hand, practice while you're jogging or when you're doing push-ups. All right? So, what we're going to do now, we're going to uh, do one of the templates here that we've used in previous sessions, swing those scales. But, for the first four bars, I'm just going to go, uh, da, 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 then I'm going to blow. And I'm going to improvise for the uh, remainder of those four bars. Then I'm going to do the same thing, up a half step. And then I will improvise in that new key for up a half for, uh, for four bars. But I want you to join me on the improv section, and if possible, please out, uh, outline the chords with me as we're going up. Okay? If you don't have your instrument with you, have your virtual instrument in hand, get in playing position, and sing the notes, and, and finger your parts as well if you can. Okay? This is, I really try and get my students to do this on, on a regular basis, just outlining the chords. Super basic, super simple. But it does take commitment and it does take practice, especially to get the speed up. And I am constantly trying to do that myself. <laughs> Here we go.
guess I ended on the 13 there, but I just like those upper extensions. Um, let's continue getting the blood pumping to different parts of the body. Time now for 10 push-ups. Here we go. I'll wait for you to uh, put the horn down gently. Put your horn down. Okay. Find a good spot on the ground that doesn't have spit all over it. Okay, all the way up, all the way down. Straight, uh, get that back straight and look forward as you're going down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Arr, matey, let's all say arr, matey is pirates. Arr, matey. Big hello to all band directors out there. Uh, students around the world and colleagues, friends, family members, I can't tell you how excited I am to, uh, to hear from you at, uh, after I log off. I can't check the, uh, the comments as we're going because the screen is facing the wrong way. <laughs> but I certainly read everything and uh, really, really appreciate you sharing our sessions together with your friends and your students. Okay, so that was a, a swing concept. Now, what we're going to do is go to a bossa nova concept, uh, and the swing eight, or the, boss, the swing eighth notes are going to turn into uh, even eighth notes. Um, but we're also going to be moving in cycles of fourths, so it's a little bit different. Uh, so we're in a, when we're in a different key center, we need to uh, think about, okay, where are we going next? Because the most important note that we play is always the next one. Here we go. The scale bossa. Again, we are outlining root, third, fifth, major seven for four bars, and then we're going to be improvising together in a bossa nova, even eighth note style. And let's try and um, uh, get our legatos going as well, okay? As we're going up, outlining the chord, let's play legato, but let's try decrescendo as we're going up. Okay. Uh, that's going to help with control and overblowing in the, uh, in, the, in the major seven areas. Here we go.
I'm having a ball. And I'm very grateful for our time that we have together every week. Every Wednesday, 11 o'clock Eastern Time, uh, tune in around the world if you can, or catch us on Facebook uh, as a rebroadcast, reposting, or on YouTube. If you haven't been to the uh, Harry Waters YouTube channel yet, please check it out and uh, press subscribe if you can, and enter in comments, share whatever you can. Again, we are all in this together. We will get through this. We will get through this. Weather's getting warmer. At least we can uh, go out and sit on our porches if we have them, or maybe uh, take a walk in the park. So um, let's all really try and stay positive, and uh, let's uh, support all our first responders and hold close to our hearts all the folks uh, who are struggling right now. In a mellow tone, we worked on this with bass lines uh, last session. But now we're going to go ahead and uh, outline the chords. Okay, any, as, a, as a review, anytime you see just a letter and a number, it's going to be a, a major triad with a dominant seventh on top. Not a major seventh, dominant seventh, dominant seventh. Um, anytime you see a letter with a minus, that's going to be minor, minor with a regular dominant seventh on, on, on top there. So you're spelling these chords. Uh, there are a lot of two five ones in here. Um, now, here's an A flat six. Ooh. That just means there's going to be an F on top of it. The sixth scale, the, the sixth degree of the uh, a, a flat scale. Okay? So, A flat, C, E flat, F. All right, so what I'm going to be doing is just outlining the chords. Very, very basic outlining the chords, but I'm going to also be playing in this legato, in a legato style. Uh, so, try and do that with us. Um, if you don't have your horn, sing along with us, but try and sing in a legato style. Okay, here we go. And uh, so I'll probably, let's see how many uh, choruses we have on here queued up. Okay, two, two. Uh, we will outline the chords the first time. Second time, we're going to trade fours. I'll go first for four bars, then you'll go. And then we'll do that all the way down until we get close to the bottom, and then... We'll all play together on the last four bars. Here we go. In a melatonin by Duke Ellington, uh, America's most prolific composer. Here we go. Great, great tune. And what I love about Duke Ellington is 
Um, he, he was a Renaissance man and then he embraced all kinds of music. He said there are two kinds of music, good and bad. <laughs> so we, all want, we always want to play music that sounds good. All righty. Blue Bossa. Now, when we were working on uh, bass lines last time, we, we stuck to the swing idiom. But we're going to do something a little different now. We're going to do a chorus. We're going to do the melody one time. Then we're going to do the next chorus of bass lines. And if you're familiar with Steely Dan, you're pr you're probably, um, you probably know that song from the 70s, Ricky Don't Lose That Number. It starts off, bum, 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 bum. So a lot of ones and fives within each sequence here. C, C, G, G, C, C. And then uh, F to a C. So uh, we're going to be alternating from roots to the five in a bossa nova, even eighth note style with some syncopation. So you're probably going to play different notes than, than me in different places, but try and stick with the roots and the fives through, it, through this. And I know you're going to be doing, doing different rhythms as well, but just try and emulate the bossa nova style, much more even. Um, third chorus, we will outline the chords like what we were doing earlier. Okay, C, E flat, G, B flat, F, A, C, E flat. Now, oh no, what happened here? Uh-oh. I thought I was doing some sort of weird voice command. Um, so, but right here you see a D with a circle with a slash through it and a seven. What the heck is that? I'm going to tell you. It's a D half diminished. Everyone go, ooh, ah. Uh, Yep, so it's going to be D, F, A flat, C natural. Okay, not fully diminished. If it was a fully diminished, that C natural would be a C flat. Okay, now uh, G7 flat 9, we're not going to worry about the flat 9 right now when we're outlining the chord, but the flat 9 would be the A flat. Okay, which is uh, the, the, ninth, the ninth degree of the, of the uh, mixolydian mode, but we're going to bring it down by a half step. Okay, uh, C, E, G, B flat. Pretty much standard for, from, uh, from here on out. So uh, this is going to be four choruses. Let me double check to make sure it's four queued up. Yes, four choruses. And there is a, 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 a Google Drive link to all of these files within this uh, Facebook posting. So if you're on YouTube, go over to Facebook and, uh, and, and click it, and you can download it right onto your iPhone. Okay? Or your Android, I believe. Melody first, melody first. <laughs>
in the style of in a melaton, which is in the pocket. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's move on. Uh, how's everyone doing as far as their blood pumping? Do we need to do any uh, uh, leg raises or flutter kicks? I think we do. 20 flutter kicks in groups of four. Here we go. Find that same spot on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And last one, let's reach for the sky. next exercise. Blood going to our brains. We're going to uh, stave off dementia today. Now we did Cherokee as, as, as well last time, but we did not outline the, the chords. We did bass lines using the Oreo cookie method uh, described to us by the great bassist and, and, and pedagogue Reagan Bruff. Um, but right now we're going to be doing that so the difference between this B flat major seven, which has a major seven on it, and a straight B flat seven, is what? You're going to bring the seventh down a half step. Okay? Um, so go ahead and outline the chords with me. Hopefully you've already downloaded this to your to your smartphone from last time because Cherokee is on there. Um, so here it goes. We're going to do this at a slower tempo, then we're going to speed it up. Lord help us. Self one and self two. 
Uh, self two is the uh, is, is the subconscious. You want to just let yourself go and achieve a state of flow and tell a musical story using all the preparation that you've done in your practicing. So what we're going to do now is speed up the tempo. We're going to do one chorus, uh, outlining the chords, and then we're all going to play one chorus together, just letting go, letting go. And if you play some wrong notes, that's okay, because remember, you're only a half step away from a correct note.
there's a waltz. <laughs> ah. Now, all the things you are, we did as a, as a swing uh, last time, outlining, or actually, we're doing the bass lines. We're going to outline the chords on this one now because it goes into all these different key centers. And it's just so much darn fun to do it. Uh, let's figure out how many choruses we have here. Uh, three choruses, three choruses. We're going to outline the chorus. We're going to outline the chords the first time. Then we're going to trade the second time. Third time, let's just all play together. And we'll play out the one another. Okay?
for us to discuss together or address, you know, uh, shoot me a, uh, a text or send me something on uh, Facebook Messenger and I'll be sure and do my best. Also, you can write it in the comments as well. Have a great week. Stay safe. Practice social distancing. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. I love you guys.